Okay, this is one of the last parts. We have the bottom die plate, and we're just going to start off with the main profile here, which is just a rectangle and a bigger rectangle. So let's go to Inventor. Always start with your origin rectangle, bigger rectangle. Let's match up the midpoint of this with the midpoint of the thing below it. And before we trim, I'm going to go ahead and give it this 8.5 for this line. And a height of 3.125. Also going to give it this height here of 1.3125 from the base up to the top of this. All right, and that's going to save me some headache of trying to keep these aligned later. Let's go ahead and trim out the bits we don't need. And I might zoom out just a little. Okay, let's put in some other dimensions. We need that this is 0.5625 and that adjusts both sides because this is still linked up with this point here we want this radius to be 1.375 so fill it 1.375 between those two and those two. And I am going to throw a dimension on this just to make sure it stays the same as this one. This little inside radius here, 0.3125 between these two corners. And then on this bottom half here, 0.5. And it didn't entirely like that. It had a little extra line there. Now this isn't right. So let's put this 8.5 back in place between these two. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to put in a horizontal constraint even if I don't need to just to make sure those two stay lined up with each other and now it says that uh, well at least all my lines are dark so I may or may not need more dimensions on this let's just double check so we have these are all for locations of holes. We have this height. We have this height. That's to locate a hole. We have that dimension. We have the radius. Yeah, I think we're good to extrude. This is supposed to be 0.3125 thick. Now we're going to make a new sketch on here. And for the holes of this, we have a whole bunch on this front side. But these are on the bottom, so I'm not going to put these unless these are all through holes. Let's just inspect it. That's a through hole. That's a through hole. This is also a through hole. This is the only one with a special head type on it. So, no, we can put all five of these in place. And I try to avoid locking it into certain things just in case. There's 
there's another one up here somewhere. That one I'm pretty sure is in the middle. But we'll get the exact dimensions. These are 0.25 away from the edge. And they're located one inch up. These are 1.563. And that should have been symmetric. I don't know what I was thinking here. Let's just put in another point real quick. Distance over. 2.0625 for the middle one 4.25 Height of that, uh, 1.563. This is located up 2.125. It should also be vertically in line with this. And let's make a horizontal constraint with these two. That should be all of my holes. So I'm going to finish my sketch. Let's pick on one of these guys. These two are the exact same, and they are quarter 20 UNC through holes. So that means it's a tapped hole, quarter 20 UNC, distance is through all, threaded the full depth, and I want to also check centers and check this one. Select OK. I want to use those points I spent so much time on, so I'm going to right click on Sketch 2 and check visibility. These are both going to be uh, counter sunk holes. 0.3125 through. There's our countersink. Point three one two five through. And then the major diameter here, I believe, was 0.75, but let's check. Uh, 0.75 for the major diameter. 86 degrees, which is new. Normally, it's just the default 82. So there's 86, 0 0.75, 0 0.3125 through, 0.3125 through. OK, this middle one here. 0.5 through. And the last one is quarter 20 UNC through. That's the same as these. So instead of making a new hole, I want to find which one of these holes. Hole 1 was the one that I used for these two. I'm going to double click on hole 1 check centers and add this one to it. So now I only have three holes. If I want to go back and modify something, I can pick on one of those and change any that are that diameter for everything. Right click sketch 2, uncheck visibility, 
it says this is actually the back side. See how it says bottom? And this should be the top. We have two numbers on here that are only on the top side. So a one and a two. So let's look here, make a new sketch. And that's just your text tool. So let's type the number one, highlight it, let's change the size, go with the biggest size they have, make it bold, maybe even make it bigger. Let's see here. How about mm, 0.5? What's that look like? Might be too big. Hit escape a couple times, double click it, highlight it. 0.3125. That seems about right. Uh, we may have to rotate it. So we're just going to click rotate. Center point doesn't really matter. It's going to snap horizontal for us, and then we can just drag and drop somewhere over here. So the exact placement doesn't really matter. We're going to have a 2 on the other side. So I just did a quick Control C for copy, Control V for paste. not having a good time with this box here, but that's okay. Let's go to rotate this center point. I'll pick this corner here. Rotate around to face that direction. Hit escape a couple times. Double click the one. Highlight the one. Change it to a two. Select OK click and drag, drop it over here somewhere. Does it look like the picture? Yeah, pretty much. Let's finish our sketch and it says mark numbers as shown. Well, I feel like we did mark those. Uh, we could engrave them or we could emboss them or we could just leave them alone. I think we'll do that. So we're going to right click on sketch, uncheck visibility. Ooh, it doesn't like that. Alright, well I don't like these nasty yellow lines, so we are going to do something with them. Let's go ahead and emboss. And we'll make it very small, 0 0.01. I don't like this the same color as the rest of the material, so I'm going to hold down control, click on the top surfaces of them, change it from default to black. And we have, what is this on the outside? Uh, 0 0.02 chamfers on the top and bottom. that off. And last thing, what was that? Is that the bottom die plate? Better double check. This is, it is the bottom die plate. So bottom die plates made out of aluminum, 6061. Right click, I have properties, physical, material, aluminum, 6061, select OK. Bottom die plate, save as bottom die plate.